Hi guys, it's Jason Blanchard. I'm here. I'm going to show you guys all my paintings I got hung up in my apartment. I, I did these all myself. I picked out my own paintings. So. But my apartment's a little messy, so please pretend not to notice if you see some messes. Try not to show them if I can now, help Now over it. here, we got this really big painting. This was one of my newer ones I did last uh, fall. And interesting story about this painting. I did this with all spray paints. I did it outside. And the interesting story behind this painting is all these leaves. I had this painting leaning up against a tree outside and had a sheet wrapped around the tree. And it uh, caught it a breeze and fell face down and it got all these leaves on it. Well it turned out to be one of those good things, good accidents. So that was really cool. It turned out really well. Everybody seems to like it when they come in and see it. So here is my waterfall painting. If you see down here I did that back in 2008. That was that's one of my paintings I'm really proud of. This one I did back in 2013. So that's a kind of a resemblance of part of my route in Colorado where you go through some tunnels and it's pretty cool. I've got my girlfriend and my brother-in-law that are fighting over this one if I ever want to get rid of it. So it's really cool. That one, let's see, I don't think you can see the year. I usually put the years on them in my last name or I sign them. Here's another desert scene. I want to get closer to it. And if you see that, that was done in 2011. That I did after playing um, the video game Red Dead Redemption and seeing all the desert scenery and that. And that's where I got the inspiration for that painting. And then, uh, over here is my wishing well. I have I did this painting because I have a drawing exactly like this only the only color in that drawing in my journal is the water everything else is black and white so and I did that in 2011 I did really cool it's supposed to be like a schoolhouse or something and it's got my last name and my first initial on there did that in 2013 so that was pretty cool. Hey, over here on this wall, we have. I did this one and it took me a little while to get it right. I took a picture. This is a, uh, a painting I did of a, a mountain road scene. That's supposed to be the highway looking down from a, a view area in Utah, just about maybe 10 miles west of Green River, Utah, off of I-70. So, took me a little while to get that one right. So, there's a painting. Alright, I got this little kid's guitar hanging in front of it, but I did this painting. And it's supposed to be a uh, TV entertainment system basically so all these some of these symbols are actually symbols and some of them are just weird designs they put on there that you can see it's pretty cool that's that one, one of my latest ones. ones I did last summer and I kept rotating it from around to the to the right and having the paint run 
to give it a weird effect and it turned out pretty cool. Then I got these three that are a set. So let me see if I can get it better. I'll have to go over here and zoom in on it. So supposed to be three different scenes of a house on a weird hill like thing and um, even when I put that together like that I don't know why I did that but it's kind of an interesting painting so this is a painting I did with the symbol Arklon with the face and then a cosmic sphere flying through the air doing a little twirly flying thing and I did that in 2011. That's one of my favorite paintings. This is a painting of my symbol of time. And um, the little white symbols are the symbol of power and the symbol of Arklon. But the big blue symbol, if you look at the three dots, the dot on the top signifies, signifies past. The middle one signifies present and this one signifies future and having all three present means all time or just time in general so that's one of my symbols one of um, almost no oh, probably close to 1500 symbols I have those in a journal eventually I'll do a video on those here's another one I did I made the sky orange as a weird effect sometimes you get like an orangish looking sky every once in a while and so I decided to try to paint it kind of so that was down 2011 this one I did last last fall and uh, I was experimenting with some different spray paints and so it's so kind of an abstract abstract kind of painting so here's another desert painting a little more greenery with it um, you can see the frame that's cheap Walmart frame and it's falling apart I'll have to try to fix it at some point so so that was down 2011 this was uh, one I did in last summer last fall no when did I do that man let's see get a year uh, 2014 last year and I do really good with making water look like waves and being kind of chaotic and stuff so that's pretty cool so like I said gonna have to forgive the mess I got a lot of I got a lot of stuff and a lot of stuff has to be moved to storage so here's a ship and made kind of a greenish looking water ocean or what have you it's not one of my better ship paintings but it's not bad here's a speedboat going through the ocean with a lighthouse in the background this is one of my uh, the ones that I one of my paintings I like the most so and then this is uh, some sort of like a castle that I did back in 2013 and uh, then I got this weird doorway one with this crock pot here so you can kind of see so that was done uh, I think that's uh, yeah 2011 And uh, here's another abstract painting I did fooling around with different paints. Flower painting. So that was a really good, cool painting I did. Flower pot was some... I don't even know if that really resembles any real kind of flower or not, but it's cool. Symbol of Arklon is in there. Behind this door got this painting did that back in 08 it was a cool painting 
All right. In the hallway, I've got this painting which I did. It's a slightly smaller one, back in 2011. Then here's a highway scene in the mountains that I did. It's pretty cool. One of my favorite ones. And here is one another one I did in 2013. And I labeled that flower rocks, so kind of like mossy rocks out in the water. And here's like an adobe hallway in some sort of building, like an old western adobe building maybe in Mexico or something. That was one of my favorite ones. I didn't date this one, but I did sign it. And then this one, not all of them that I put dates on. I try to sign and date, sign and put a year in all my paintings. And that one was a good one too. It's all right. Here's one of my ship paintings. And that was 2008. Sorry, the so shaky small one and there's kind of like a you know kind of like the beginning of winter the light snow tree and kind of a eerie purplish cloudy sky so all right going here to the bathroom and in the bathroom is this painting. It's like a path through a mountainous, foresty area. This is a really cool painting that I really like. Another ship painting and kind of like a guy stranded on the shore looking over the ocean hoping to get the attention of the ship far off. So, should have probably put like a fire signal thing on there, but I didn't. But it's a pretty cool painting. And cool painting right here of some something magical going on. A sphere rising up and shooting energy down through two towers of crystal or glass. and um, With a water drop in one. And then maybe something magical hamp happening so that was pretty cool and this is supposed to be a scene of looking out of a cave over an ocean ocean with a small little thin island jutting out into the jutting out into the ocean waters kind of a marshland is this one so it's kind of cool now I'm going to show you my one of my drawings I did in high school and uh, my mom always liked this and this is always hung up in the bathroom wherever I've lived and it just is always hung in the bathroom and it was one of the first really good artworks I did when I was younger and my mom's not alive anymore but I have this painting and I keep it hung in the bathroom all the time. So it's kind of kind. Of, it has a lot of sentimental, sentimental value. Up above the dresser mirror, and then I've got this one painting of a superhero named Frost. And then here's a painting, uh, painting of a sphere giving off misty green energy and stuff hovering I really like I did that 2011 it was a really good cool painting so here's another painting I did with spray paints all metallic gold silver metallic blue metallic red and it kind of has like a fuzzy look to it but it's a pretty cool painting did all the spray paints. So, 
And over there is a ship painting with some symbols. These days I'll have to do a painting or a video of all my symbols. That'll be a long video though. Alright, here's one of my paintings I did. Obviously it's a bridge made done with gold and black paints. And all that white stuff you see, it's because it sat in storage for a while and then it got the paper peeling off the back of another painting. So, here's another painting I did. I did start out with there being a guy down on his, walking down on all fours, or crawling on all fours, and it was, wasn't was turning out really good, so I just made a rock out of him. And this didn't turn out as well as I liked, but that one there was supposed to be some pillars are supposed to be like a side of a castle area with a roofed area and it turned out real fuzzy. I was experimenting with some different spray paints with that one. Another sphere getting out mystical energy and stuff and getting a really good glare here but that's supposed to be a forest. The gold represents like wood and green like represents grass and pine branches and stuff. A lot of glittery glitter and shiny gold and stuff. Another sphere, I was, this was an experiment I was doing with some different colors and stuff. It, it was alright. So, and here's a painting of my symbols of time representing the past, present, and future. And here is the painting of Arklon, the symbol. So I got a couple other paintings over here to the left, which um, probably aren't appropriate to put on YouTube. So I'll leave them out. Basically, there a couple of uh, nude women, one on a beach, and one was one's wearing nothing but a tie. And uh, so those are some things I was experimenting with too. So, alright. Those are all the paintings I have in my apartment. And yeah, let me see, I think I got some. There's some others buried. This is a magical object, which I haven't decided what the powers are going to be, but this was one of my first paintings and I really like it. I just haven't found a place to hang it up yet. I'll probably hang it up at some point. Then this here, I was using glitter paint and letting it run. It's kind of, kind of girly in a way, but it was supposed to be a unicorn and it didn't turn out the best. Um, after the stuff started to settle, it started to kind of spread out in a way and didn't have quite the same look, but it turned out okay. It's glittery, red, it's all glitter paints that you get, you know, in the art section, so... And I know there's a couple other paintings probably in this closet, but I'm not going to bother to dig them out. There, here's Here's another painting. And like I said, I got a couple other paintings that are at my sister and brother-in-law's place that I did. And one that I did 
uh, two paintings I did for friends and a co-worker so uh, those are my paintings <sighs> alright guys well that wasn't all my paintings but uh, I'll go through and find some uh, pics on my computer and include those in the presentation or do like a little slideshow at the end of the ones that uh, I left out. And some of the ones that I don't have in my possession um, exist in uh, files that I have on my computer. So I'll just make a little Picks slideshow. Of, so I always take pictures of all my paintings and have them on file. So I'm going to go through and anything that was left out on that little video I, I just took. I will include in like a little slideshow at, towards right after this. So I hope you liked all my paintings and uh, thanks for watching. Thanks, bye.